welcome to another video. This one's going to be a little bit short, to be completely honest, but uh, it was suggested to me only an hour or so ago that I should do a budget build for escorts. Now the escort that we're going to be taking a look at today is the Fleet Phantom Intel Escort. Now what I've got running on here is a very basic standard four heavy uh, dual heavy cannon three turret build nothing particularly fancy here you'll note that all the equipment bar the phaser quad cannons which come from a lower level sea store ship honestly they're really not necessary just another fleet cannon or torpedo would do fine in its place maybe the kelvin timer because that's a really cheap weapon so the purpose of this is for those who don't have a lot of resources or are very new to the game but they want to play an escort and not really sure where to start to make a good stable build to actually get them to a point where they can farm to get better stuff. So I thought well here goes. In this particular setup it's pretty old school and straightforward. If you're gonna run cannons generally speaking you want turrets in the aft now the reason for this is that turrets are affected by the same skills as cannons so let's say we're using rapid fire one which we are in this case rapid fire one also affects turrets fire at will don't affect it uh, beam overload any of that they're all beam weapons so they don't affect this and they don't affect these either so you want to keep the weapon type the same so that when you are using a weapon enhancement skill it applies to all of the weapons that you're actually running now I've currently got the Iconian set mostly because I haven't actually changed it over yet but this can be replaced with again this is a budget build so if the first set or first and cheapest set that you get access to is the Borg maybe because that's probably the easiest reputation to get marks for Maybe the Borg set is the first one that you've got, then that's perfectly fine. Shield deflector, impulse of the Borg set, and then an elite fleet warp core to go in place here. The heavy weapon is something that's only just recently come out. Something that was uh, free as a dilithium claim. I believe that's still going, so get that. The consoles I'm using, you'll note I'm not using the vulnerability locators in this case. These are just simple crafted phaser relays. You can pick these up pretty cheap on the exchange or try and farm them yourself from Kerak, Gore Minefield, Crystalline Entity. There are a multitude of places that you can get fairly decent, very rare Mark 12 drops from. Going back to the Bulgar Reputation, simulated module, as in every build ever. The Quantum Phase Converter, this is something that you pick up from a episode. I'm can't actually remember the name of it. I do have the Byron Fuel Bioneural Infusion Circuits, but this can be replaced with the Zero Point Energy Conduit. Now, this, much like the Assimilator module, is only a Tier 1 Reputation console, so even if you've not started any Reputation, you can have this within two days. It does cost a little bit of Dilithium and Marks, but nonetheless, it is still doable. Now, because we're using Phaser, this particular ship actually comes with its own additional special console, hence plus 15% uh, phaser damage. Has a lance, which is kind of nice in PvP. It's a uh, nice little surprise to shock somebody with a bit of uh, spike damage. And then, following on from the phaser thing, we're using effectively the Kelvin set. We're only going to use a two-piece, because all we're interested in is the plus 25% phaser damage. If you don't have the Intel Dreadnought, or can't afford one, that's perfectly fine. You can swap out this particular console for the opposite of this one. When you open the box to get the mining drill laser, which is, I think, a few hundred K on the PS4 at the minute, you'll be given an option of two. There's either the Proton Lawn Charge Launcher or the Mining Drill laser emitter. If you don't have the emitter arrays, simply use the proton charge launcher and you'll still get the same set bonus from it. 
which all adds up to a fairly decent um, attack damage bonus. I mean, if you have a look at the DPS here, this isn't exactly top-notch stuff. I mean, it's Mark 14, but could be an awful lot better. And the damage, as you can see, is 2,000 base, 1,600 DPS. So, still crazy amounts of damage. Stations is a standard old school single target DPS build. Now I've got Delta in because I have Delta Prime. Another option that you could go with, if it would actually let me choose it, would be Attack Pattern Omega in your Lieutenant Commander slot and then an Attack Pattern Beta here. Or alternatively if you are running a Torpedo then you could keep your rapid fire or scatter volley, whatever it is that you're running with, whether it's an AoE or a single target build, and then swap that out for spread 3 or this attack pattern here for spread 2. Now again, with this being a single target build, I've actually gone with Surgical Strikes 3. Admittedly, I did use this for PvP trolling. In PvE, this isn't really the best setup per se. I mean you could go with a scatter volley dual attack pattern and a torpedo build instead. Have a play with it. The whole point of escorts for me personally, now I don't mean this derogatory to anyone who's a pro at playing escorts, but in the game's current meta in comparison to most dreadnoughts, they are a little bit subpar. There are a couple of exceptions, like the uh Vorgon Xyphius, the Jem'Hadar strike ship, but they're either event ships or extraordinarily expensive. Just going for something cheap, a build like this will work, but have fun with it. So, just going to do a little bit of gameplay. This is in the Akamar system. It's just a Romulan patrol. I like to use this as one of my uh, testing grounds whenever I'm playing with a new ship. Let's quickly get this. Okay, so as I said, this thing is designed for spike damage, so nothing should last more than about two seconds. So, quick little buff up, everything's on, one volley, and it's dead. Same again, should be one volley, and it's dead. Now, this is something that could be achieved with very, very little money. I think the most expensive thing that you're probably going to have to worry about is if you do go with this particular route and have Surgical Strikes 3 in there, maybe the Intelligence Specialist and buying Surgical Strikes 3 from somebody who's made it and put it on the exchange, that might cost you a couple of mil, but other than that, it's very cheap, highly effective little build, ever so much fun to play. I, I do play this as just a single target, but you can run it as a full PvE and swap it out for the cannon scatter volley, either here or instead of surgical strikes, as I said earlier. Anyway, this is just a quick little video just to cover uh, escorts for someone who asked. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care.